Hey, how you guys doing? I have Echo X, and I'm on the Xbox One Edition, and this is an automatic brewing station. So I've seen a lot of these, and they're super complex with a lot of pistons and stuff. This uses no pistons. It's just droppers and hoppers. So it's not super expensive. You know, it does cost about a stack of, of hoppers, but it's, you can live with it because, you know, you push one button and everything's there. So... This is the loading hopper, and then this, of course, is our brewing stand, which you can see has water bottles, and then this is a water bottle dispenser. And so let's go ahead and make a, a two-sided uh, potion. So I would like to make invisibility, and go ahead and check this, and I think I would like to add um, time, and I want to make it a splash. There we go. So time and a splash. As long as you do it in that, you know, that fast it will work if you did it too quick if it was to brew the ingredient so if we look in here you can see it's smelting that if it was to drop this carrot in and then you were to hit the time button it would put the redstone here causing the potion to not be what you'd want it to so either do it really quick or just wait wait until it's done brewing the potion that you desire but other than that you know we're making it a, it's an awkward potion now and then it's going to be potion of, of in uh, was it night vision and then once we add in fermented spider eye it will become uh, invisibility and then of course once it adds in the redstone and gunpowder it's going to be a splash which invisibility is best if you can get all three people with it or or a group of people by throwing it on the ground so yeah it's also expandable uh, from here you can actually add on 15 potions uh, not including the ones that are here already but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So you could go three more blocks over, and it's really simple to add those in. Um, unless, you know, like for instance, rabbits uh, hopping, which is going to come in the future, blowfish, which will give you water breathing. Um, all those things can be just added right in. It's super simple. At the end of the tutorial, I will do that. So I believe our potion is probably almost done, and there we go. So we got invisibility for eight minutes, and it's now a splash. You go ahead and take your potions, and then just leave it like that. And you can go ahead and make stuff invisible. So, yeah. Now all we got to do is just make it. All right, so for this tutorial, we are going to need a five from front to back platform. And it's actually pretty long. This is actually 17, so it's one bigger than a chunk. So... If you guys see how I did this platform, so when we start, we're going to start from the left side. And if you guys have marked out your chunk, the best place to have a hopper going over a chunk is on this side. Because it's only a, a repeater there activating um, a, a dropper. I've tested this repeatedly and I've never had it freeze up. So there's no redstone involved here. So, yeah. So the next thing we want to do is uh, basically just come over one block into your chunk so we're, we're two over here and just make a three high wall and this is just so we can do a cool little cosmetics thing and that is to basically place a stair um, you know upside down and just basically drag those across if you like that look you can also use a solid block if you want to and then just bring it all the way across so this is basically the face plate or the front of it and then stop there and we can go ahead and put in A little wall like that so that'll be basically the footprint so from here where we've put the the stairs on the on the right side um, from this wall it's one block so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then eleven like that want to go ahead and go into a block here like that with a repeater with one piece of redstone like that place another block here and then we want to go ahead and put our blocks on top of this, like that. And then go ahead and put our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 buttons there. And then we want to go ahead and just fill this in, do 3, and put 3 more buttons, like that. From here we can go ahead and just put a row of blocks on top, and this is where our signs are going to go. Alright, so now we can go ahead and put in our brewing stand and get that hooked up. So brewing stand right here, and that's where we put the repeater. And then we're going to need 
to crouch click a hopper on top and a hopper on the side so like that all right crouch clicking again we'll need to put a chest here like that so that's basically the face plate so since I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and add you know a place where I can actually stand <laughs> Uh, not that we really need it, but it does look a lot better than looking at, you know, this <laughs> random faceplate. There we go. All right, so coming around to the back on the, the, it would be the left side from the front or the right from the back. So blocks up like that. And then we want to go ahead and grab droppers and then have those facing upwards. So because we're going over a chunk, I mean, I would say use redstone like this and a repeater to save it. But because we're going over a chunk, let's just use repeaters. That way it's not going to, you know, get redstone locked. Because you know it's going <laughs> to if it's going across the chunk. All right, so next thing is a dropper here, like that. And then we want to go ahead and place blocks behind this redstone, covering it up. And just stop right there like that. All right, so redstone here. And then we're going to go two repeaters, redstone two more repeaters and a redstone and then the rest repeaters so one two three and four like that all right so <clears throat> from here we need a repeater coming off of this little pit, bit of redstone we want it angling and that's to prevent it from getting updated and then angling it and bring it all the way back to here into a block onto a dropper like that all right so uh, next thing to do is to place a block here, redstone on it, and go ahead and put redstone like that, skip one, and then go one, two, three, and four, like that. Put blocks on top of these, like that. Three down, all right? And then one up, and then one more up like that. And this will sever that connection. So that's pretty much what's going to give us our independent signals. So um, we do need two more pieces of redstone and one dropper right here. All right, so dropper here and here, here and there, just like that. And then we'll need one and two. So there should be three on the end. Um, if you guys need to, go ahead and look at it again. I'm going to go ahead and go up above and just so you guys can uh, you know, check it from the front make sure that from the actual brewing stand that this is what it looks like if you need to pause it all right so uh, this is the, the last part of this and then we're almost done here so crouch clicking three more and then one two three and then four and we want to go ahead and go over here and do the same thing, crouch click it and put it all the way across. And when we get to this section here, we want to do this little angle thing like that. And just make sure that they're all facing into each other. And then bring it all the way over to that one. All right, so I would like to go through and do all the signs with you and also fill it up with ingredients and stuff. But I know that this works because so I've built it a hundred times probably. So we're just going to go back to the original. And this is just to save time. So from right, you know, from the right side, if you're looking at the back, you want to go ahead and put in gunpowder in this one, glowstone, redstone, netherwort, golden carrots, magma, sugar, golden watermelon, spider eye, gas tear, and I forget what that's called, but you guys know what it is. And then we got fermented spider eye. Oh, that's blaze powder. All right, in the front. You can do this however you want to, but this is adds gunpowder, which makes it a splash. So you could put potion of splash. Um, or you could put, you know, duration instead of, you know, stronger. So I have it stronger, time, weakness, night vision, invisibility, fire resistance, slowness, swiftness, healing, po uh, poison, harming, regeneration, and um, strength. So I'm going to go ahead and say if you build this anywhere near your spawn, do not use these signs. It will freeze your game when you come out of the nether. And if you go into the end and you try and leave, um, and this is in your spawn area, 
when it goes to spawn you back it'll crash your game I've had it happen to me so don't use these just use signs I just did this for the tutorial alright well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and as a final note um, put your water bottles in here and they will automatically go into there hopefully you guys seen that and of course a uh, happy new year did a little fireworks thing should be cool there we go yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video comment like and subscribe and have a good one later